was heavily projected to join Manchester United in the January transfer window, but instead picked Bundesliga powerhouse Borussia Dortmund as the best spot to complete his football education. It has proven to be a wise decision, as his extraordinary goal-scoring streak has continued unabated. So what's the story behind the 19-year-old Norwegian striker's meteoric climb to popularity? Can he keep up his current form, and can he become the new Robert Lewandowski or Falcao, the center forward to watch in the 2020s? Erling Haaland was born in Leeds in the year 2000, when his father was a Leeds United player. After working his way up through the ranks at local club Burn, Alfinch Haaland traveled to England seven years prior. Alfinch was forced to retire from football at the age of 30 due to injury concerns just three years after Erling was born. He was notably wounded by a vicious Roy Keane tackle in his right knee, but he had previously suffered from difficulties with his left knee that were unrelated to the Manchester United midfielder's red card incident. Alfinch opted to return to Norway with his family once his top-level profession ended, while Holland Sr. retired from football to pursue a career as a property developer in his home country, he urged his son to continue playing the sport he loved, with early following in his father's footsteps by enrolling in Burns Youth Academy. Coach Alf Inge Bernstein was immediately impressed by his club's hard-working new addition, who played in attack rather than defense or midfield, as Alf Inge had done previously with Nottingham Forest, Leeds United in Manchester City. Holland's first taste of international football came with Norway's under-15 side during the 2015-2016 season, after scoring 18 goals in 14 games for Burns' reserve side. His path crossed with Gunnar Hall, a teammate of his father's at Leeds in the late 1990s, when he was part of the Norway setup. Hall appreciated what Holland had to offer in terms of attack, but feared that his gangly build would keep him from reaching the top. Gott Larsen was fired as Burn manager in May 2016, and Bernsen was promoted to caretaker leader. Despite the fact that Holland is just 15 years old, the temporary manager gave him his first start after working closely with him as a child. After starting Holland in the wing, Bernstein moved him to his preferred central position after a few games. Despite the fact that he didn't score in his first season at Bern, Holland was offered a trial by Hoffenheim before heading to Mold to play under Ole Gunnar Solcher, a Norwegian legend. Bernstein was not surprised by the transfer because Holland had made a name for himself by playing senior football at the age of 15. Mold was a place where Holland could rapidly break into the first team and continue to improve in his career. Hall also believes that Holland's fearlessness contributed to his rapid advancement through the Norwegian divisions, with Holland lining out for Mold in Norway's top flight before he was 17. Although he just became widely known near the end of 2019, Holland, the son of former Leeds United and Manchester City utility man Alfinch, has been a hot topic on the European scouting circuit for some time. Within weeks, a slew of European elite teams had set their sights on Holland, and it appeared that the boy's closest advisor, his father, Alfie, had his hands full just keeping suitors at bay. Despite making multiple club trips around Europe, it became evident that young Holland, who was coached by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the time at Mold, would only leave Norway for a club that would give him his first team status. Moving to an academy, as his fellow countryman Martin Odegaard did when he left Strum Scottsdale for Real Madrid Castilla a few years ago, was ruled out. The self-assured adolescent desired to study while competing. Early can confidently offer his father the occasional gratis Dortmund home game as a thank you for a flawless early career route. Holland was able to adapt and learn at the harsher but yet manageable ultra-professional Red Bull setup because to his year in Austria. And while he would have preferred to be more active during his first half season in Salzburg, he played in only two league games, the gradual introduction paid off in the end. Following a remarkable golden boot performance for Norway at the U-20 World Cup in May, which included a world record-breaking nine goals in a single game against Honduras, he now has his sights set on the Premier League. During the second half of the year, his quick growth in form and talent resulted in eight goals and five Champions League appearances for the Austrians, including a hat-trick in his CL debut against Genk. The 19-year-old had clearly outgrown Austrian football after that great performance, and he was quickly connected with just about every major club in Europe, including Manchester United, where his former coach, Solskjaer, was now the manager. Despite the fact that he was greatly desired by the Red Devils, he decided to make his next transfer to the Bundesliga. The Holland family made a wise decision by choosing Borussia Dortmund over possibly more attractive destinations. The Bundesliga is a paradise for attacking football, 
in this Dortmund team with its quick and attack-minded wide players, astute attacking midfielders, and wide forwards whose movement generates space provides the ideal environment for a powerful and energetic center forward to thrive. Holland has made the most of his opportunity, scoring a hat-trick in Twitter. After all, it took Cristiano approximately 30 games to break through in the Champions League. The evidence of a smart football brain is also starting to show, thanks to an ever-improving positional knack of popping up in the right spot at the right time and the intelligence to draw away from his marker at the correct time. Though his youthful exuberance is undeniably motivating, it's also evident that Holland has changed dramatically and quickly in the last six months. He has improved his pressing game and instead of running out his team near the conclusion of games, he now provides incisive and energy draining runs and movement throughout the 90 minutes. This was evident in his recent away triumph against Werder Bremen in which he came alive in the final half hour. Given the Norwegian's astronomically productive previous six months, it may seem crazy to point out any flaws in this game, but his aerial game has a lot of room for growth. One could argue that Holland, who's six foot four, plays like a much smaller player, relying on his speed, balance, determination, and willingness to take on opponents on the ground rather than in the air. In fact, he hasn't put much emphasis on the art of directing the ball with a well-coordinated head movement, which makes you question how much of a threat he could become if he develops a taste for converting crosses as well. His initial touch needs to be improved as well in order to strengthen his hold-up game. A complete center ability forwards to control the ball neatly and quickly after receiving it as a crucial talent. And if the kid wonder is to develop into a full center forward, one that has to become a stronger component of his game, as strange as that may sound when it comes to someone in the process of shattering goal records. While Holland appears to be more at ease in the final third as part of Dortmund's rapid combination play, he still needs to improve his layoffs and learn when and how to hang on to the ball to win a free kick or buy time to enable his teammates to catch up to him. All of these characteristics demonstrate that he's more than a wonder kid going through a phase in his life. He possesses all of the necessary characteristics to become the best in the world. At the moment, all we can do is relax and enjoy a trip to Holland. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.